today I'm going to teach you guys about the electromagnetic spectrum. It's mainly composed of seven things such as radio waves, microwaves, infrared, light, visible light waves, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma rays. On, the, on this end over here we have radio waves which are basically used for radio signals and um, they carry signals from television sets and cell phones. Over here we have microwaves which are used for heating things up, like that's why it's called microwaves and um, they're also used in wireless networks, so wherever you have like a wireless network and connect to the internet and stuff like that, microwaves are used. Next we have infrared, and infrared is pretty close to the visible light section, but infrared usually um, is mainly used on lock-on missiles because it targets heat waves, and other things are used, on, they're also goggles which have infrared, so um, you can see through objects and it senses heat. Next we have um, visible light, which is everything we can see, and it's basically composed of the colors um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And this is the main light that we see. And beyond this, we can't see, and beneath it, we can't see. Over here, we have ultraviolet light, um, which is sometimes used to kill bacteria in some areas. And um, they're also used in black light bulbs, so there's ultraviolet light coming out of black light bulbs. And x-rays are mainly used for looking at broken bones and seeing them through uh, objects and such. And some scientists use x-ray spectroscopy to see through solid objects. And by doing this, you can see their molecular structure. And therefore, you can kind of tell what kind of uh, shape it's going to have. And finally, all the way on the side, we have gamma rays, which are um, have lots of radiation in them. and they're mainly used for CT scans and like nuclear medicine, which can help sometimes people get better. And basically from going from left to right, the wavelength gets shorter as like the frequency gets higher. So over here you have low frequency with long wavelengths, but when you go down here, you have short wavelengths but a high frequency. And that is your electromagnetic spectrum. Here to tell you about the frequencies of the EMD spectrum. Um, starting with radio waves, it's 10 to the 4th hertz. Microwaves are 10 to the 8th hertz. Infrared are 10 to the 12 hertz. Uh, we'll do visible light in a second. Um, ultraviolet is 10 to the 15th hertz. X-ray is 10 to the 16th. And finally, gamma ray is 10 to the 20th. Uh, visible light is going to be a lot lower because it's, uh, it's the only, they're the only ones that can be seen with the human eye. Uh, but starting with red is around 384 hertz. Um, orange is around 482 hertz. Yellow is 503 hertz, green is 520 hertz, blue is 610 hertz, and violet is 659 hertz. Hi, I'm Miles, and I'm going to teach you guys on how light passes through waves. All light passes through objects through waves. For transparent objects, they, um, all the atoms are attached in springs, where when, when the light passes through, the atoms will vibrate with the wave. For uh, objects that are, are not transparent, there is no spring. They, they move in random kinetic energy, so that when the, when the light wave hits the object, it, the light is absorbed, where the object will get warmer, but it will not 